iced caramel macchiatos. Two last iced caramel macchiatos. Guess what? We're starting the day with out. One of them with almond milk, please. Oops. It's like I just okay. told you that because I don't want that. Take that away. I want a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel and a plain bagel. <laughs> really, nigga? <laughs> Tell her to cancel that shit. Call Actually, out. instead of that bagel, can I have... You say that shit. I'm not a bacon, egg, that. and cheese on a plain bagel. Welcome back to the video. A instead of carrying it on from yesterday, we decided to bring it That'll to today. It. So, picking Actually, up some food. can I have four orders of hash browns? <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch you guys at home. Just one bagel. Yes. Yes. Okay, and four other hash browns and two large ice macchiato, one with almond milk. <laughs> yep. All right, GTO's in the garage. Had the back stacks car out. Jump start the cars. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my car back here now that I can get through the fence that's being built. Put it in the garage, wire up my strobes. Oh yeah, you guys never even saw the headlights I brought up in Sunday's video. But um, these are it. They never even seen the fender. They're so clear. Oh yeah. Got the new fender and door on there. Back to good, if not better. The only thing that sucks is like the core support was bent. But new headlights, now I need some hot boy wheels to match the headlights. I got the paint for the front bumper in the truck. Yep, all the swag points. All right, got the camera charged up again. Quan, what are you doing today? Power steering so I don't crash into the trees. We got his power steering line running over his roof right now. This is only gonna be temporary for the first drift event. <laughs> <laughs> and then while he's working on that, I'm gonna be finishing up the lights. Oh man, oh. I'm gonna be finishing up the lights on this car. Basically, let me just, if you didn't watch the last video, these wires right here for the reverse tail lights are, um, they were too short, so I'm gonna be extending those and then I'm gonna be shortening all those, just cleaning everything all up those. and doing it proper. Excuse me, I'm talking, Quan. <laughs> but once again, shout out to that company, can't say their name, SU, I will put it on the screen, link in the description for their LEDs. Their shit is literally dope. And then, there's supposed to be a 10% discount code for you guys, but it's actually, they dropped the whole website 10%. Link in the description. And then come back and finish this video because I told you so. Do it. You'll uh, A UFO will come to your house and bring you a, a FD if you do. Okay, so what I'm doing first right now is I'm going ahead and siliconing my uh, LEDs into the stock like sockets. Oh, that one just literally popped out. And that's the reason being. And also to keep water out of there because you don't want a fishbowl. That's the worst. So while that's going ahead and drying, I think I'm going to go ahead and silicone the front ones as well, this one and these ones, just to help keep those from leaking, even though they seat in there really well and tight, I think it'll be much better so they don't fall out just to do it, and it'll make it just 10 times better because these LEDs shouldn't go bad anyways. All right, so we got the tail lights back in, all the wires ran, and now I have it wired up where I don't have to have my ignition on in case we're ever at like a show and I just wanna leave them on or something. They're not bolted in or anything, they're just sitting in there, so I can take this back part and do my LEDs in the headlight, but just go ahead and flip that switch on. Oh, I must have them plugged in backwards. <laughs> All right, so in here on the board, I just have to switch these two with these two, and then the top and bottom will go back and forth. Everything's all switched. They're switched, turn them on. All right, now everything's good. So you can see it's going from top to bottom. And yes, the corner lights are just sitting in there. Cool, so everything's all wired up nice and neatly and all clean now. Now it's time to redo my LEDs for the headlights, which last night I just wired them up quick so I could go drift them. Now I gotta go ahead and take the headlights out and fix that all up. They look so much cooler at nighttime, but I feel like 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 later in the afternoon, like a rainy day, they would be baller. All right, Jess. Bam! That's where I got ankle socks on, boy. About to test Quan's power steering as soon as he runs the 17 different lines he has to. I'm still waiting to do my LED headlights because I don't really feel like it right now. All right, so it's a little bit later in the night. I got my high beams wired up. I'm definitely much happier with them. They're much brighter than like the low beams. I probably just had them angled wrong because they were kind of sagging around in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the switch to show you guys how bright the high beams are. Then I'll throw the high beams on with the strobes and we'll get to see how everything looks. So let me get this little front end back together. She's looking a little sad right now. And then uh, we'll see how everything looks. Look how clean she is again. Like everyone was like, your car's beat as fuck. 
Like, of course it was beat as fuck, it's low as fuck, but I take care of my shit, I put it back together. It's good now, except for the color difference of these two are a little bit off, it looks more purple. It's because I didn't use a base coat of white, I left it gray. My fault, I'm gonna fix it. It's no big deal, I got new skirts on the way. These are gonna be my beater skirts for like street shit, and then when we're taking pictures or at the track, I'm gonna run my livery skirts. So let's flip on these high beams real quick, check out how bright those are. The thing I don't like is that the center lights. I wish it was like, you know, the like the fucking eyeballs. So she's all good, it's all good. The only thing I need to do is wire up those low beams and we'll be good. Show them your power steering. <laughs> oh, do you have it hooked up correctly now? All right. I bet you, I bet you can turn it with one finger. Let's see. Sit in that seat, Quan. Show them, show them the steering. This is so easy, it's ridiculous. Do it with the spoke. <laughs> That's crazy. It's kind of tough. Oh, it is tough? But like, you guys see that it's ridiculous. This is his pump in here, it's a Volvo uh, electric pump. Here, let me get, ah! Let me get back here. Them, those are the haunted house strobes. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> let me turn my high beams off because they're overpowering the camera. Dope boys. Mine are lame, but. The haunted but, house but. ones. <laughs> they look cool together though. On the camera, yours are just way faster than they are on here. Like, it's like almost like a steady light. It's a little bit slower than that. Alright, so later in the day or the evening or the good night, whatever, we're going to get some food. We're going to take you guys with us and show you our subs. My trunk stays open. Oh yeah, da Daquan got struts. Wawa for dinner. Wawa for dinner. A lot of people probably don't even know what Wawa's is. Hello to all the raise your car out there. Oh, I can't put. Yeah. Yeah, you can't put. <laughs> Holy shit! He said it's gonna be a little eating chat. What the fuck are you talking about? The fact that you were the really fact that some cancer shit. Everyone thinks on YouTube that we're supposed to build our cars for you guys and do what you guys want, but it's our cars. Our cars would look the way that they look. My car ain't even done, but it's gonna be styled just like Sebastian's and Zach's are. But like, we don't do this for the YouTube. We do this because this is what we like. It's not like anyone can talk us into doing shit. I have taken like five bites since you started talking. This sandwich is so good. <laughs> But yeah, pretty much with the channel, um, oh yeah, let me bring this up because you guys have been asking. So I got a job, there's going to be less videos and stuff. Um, basically I got a really good opportunity to make a lot of money, do exactly what I love, do exactly what I've been doing on YouTube, but now getting paid by someone else instead of YouTube. No, YouTube channel's not dead, no garage sideways isn't going to be gone. The plan is to do two videos a week, a Sunday video and a Wednesday drop. And then also start trying to shoot more movie style films and stance videos, drift bangers and stuff like that. It, there's nothing really else to talk about with it because like it's just, I don't know, we don't want to talk about, we could talk about how many people hate on the channel and stuff like that. But the thing is with YouTube, like, oh, oh I fucking hate this focus. Let me, let me fix that. If we had pro cars or like how they treat TJ Hunt saying, oh, he has an overbuilt car. If our cars were set up like normal cars, there'd be hella people saying, oh, you fucking got a, a overbuilt car, yeah. you got a pro car and you suck, shit like that. Like, yeah, people, people you, some people, no matter fucking some what. people on the channel tell me that my car is a shit box, but the thing is like, I if you took a pro built car like Quambex, we use them for example, and he slammed it, it would be my car with a different motor. My car, you can say whatever it is, I don't even care, but literally. Except for he does have like a tube and tube. Yeah, I mean, I ain't comparing nothing. Like, uh, here goes the fucking internet. I wouldn't God. even put that in there. Nah, I don't care. Like, but seriously, like, our cars are pretty well built. You know, we're not fucking professionals. But, like, I just don't understand why so many people have to be like, you know, raise your car and shit. Like, that's what we like. Like, that's cool. You know, like, we, we're not, the, we're not out there to fucking go to Pro-Am like Orion and Quan Beck and, you know, fucking destroy everyone with the fastest high power card. 
the highest powered card. We'd rather, you know, go to the gas station park, flex hella hard and hard park, and then go street drift and have a fantastic night. And if something breaks, we laugh about it. We don't get bummed out about losing fucking events. You know, we don't we don't have to spend a ton of money going to events. You know, we're more just grassroots dudes that just want to have fun on the street, which is unsafeish. I get it. We are going to be going to the track, but it's cheaper. So fuck it. I don't care about being the best. All I want to do is have fun with my friends. That's literally all I want to do. If I was driving around in a piece of shit car, I could be in my old RX-7 and I'd still be having fun just hanging out with my friends. Yeah. Pretty much, that's that's what we are. That's what the goal is for the summer. We all are going to have... Let me put this back in order, folks. For like this summer, we all are going to have regular jobs now. I work, you know, all week long now. He works all week. Zach works all week. But the goal is to like kind of plan events and give you guys like a two or three week heads up and travel a, a pretty good distance and uh, just try to get as much of you guys to come out as possible and hang out with like team members and stuff and just overall have fun and make videos and do cool ass shit. That's probably going to be the it because I don't feel like making a super long rant. It was like a five minute rant. We're going to finish these sandwiches. Peace. Any last words, Quan? That went right to you. That was perfect. I was like, Doop. build your car for you. Don't give a fuck what anyone else says. You're already above whoever is talking shit about you because, like, I would never say anything disrespectful to anybody. If it's someone, even if I don't like their car, I wouldn't tell them because it's not my place. I didn't pay for their car. I didn't work for their car. Shit don't fucking matter to me. I ain't got to drive the bitch. Build your car for you. Wise words.